Hey everyone, it's Brianna and I am back with another video. Today's video is a tutorial on this wand curled hairstyle. It's perfect for summer and it only takes me a little under 10 minutes. So if you like this look, then please keep watching. Thanks guys. Bye. Before we go ahead and get started, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who wished me a happy 21st birthday. It went so well. If you haven't already seen the video, I'll link it down below. Okay, so to begin, I am going to apply this Chi In Vero Smoothing Serum. The great thing about this product is it is for all hair types and it's a lightweight leave-in treatment. And it's a heat protectant, but it also helps to moisturize your hair as well. So I place this on my hair um, after it's freshly washed and you really only need a little bit. You can find it at your local JCPenney uh, online or in-store. And I think they're actually having a sale online right now, so I'll link that below for you guys. So onto the next step, I'm just parting my hair here and separating it into pieces so that I can detangle it. And I'm using this round brush that I picked up from Walgreens. And just for an extra added heat protectant, I'm going to go in with this Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray. For the drying process, I am going to use this one and only Brazilian Tech Keratin Infused Blow Dryer. And as you can see, it does have cold and hot settings. Now this blow dryer is definitely the best blow dryer I have ever used. The strength on this thing is absolutely amazing and I feel like it helps dry my hair so quickly but it doesn't burn it out. And I'm just using that same round brush to guide the blow dryer to help blow dry my hair so that I can get an even dry surface to get ready for the wand curls. Once I've gone through my hair a few times and it is completely dry, I can just go ahead and move on to the next section and I just part it, comb it out, make sure I don't have any tangles or anything like that. And if your hair is not extremely bone straight after you blow dry it, that's totally fine. It's okay. I am going to wand curl it anyway, so it's okay if it has a little bit of a bump and a fluff to it. Because I personally don't mind my curls looking a little bit more natural. Once my hair is completely dry and I do not have any more damp spots, I can go ahead and move on to the back portion of my head and then I finish up the side portion of my head. And I always get this question when I do my hair video, so I might as well go ahead and answer it for you guys now. I am African American, so uh, for anybody who's wondering, there's your answer. But here you can just see me, I am bringing my hair from the side towards the front to blow dry it. And I'm just going to complete this process on the rest of my head until it's completely dry. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing is just taking this rat tail comb and I'm parting it down the middle. Obviously you can part it in whichever way you like, but this is just the style that I'm going for today. And for my wand curler, I am using the Con Air U Curl Wand Curler. Now this um, curler has four different settings, 310, 330, 360, and 400 degrees. And um, for my hair, I use it at 360 degrees, but I would just suggest that you try it out, obviously, on a piece of hair, maybe in the back, because you don't want to burn it off. And now you can see I'm taking a little bit more of that heat protectant just to prepare my hair before I put the direct heat onto it. This next part is very important. Key to success when your wand curls or anything with your heat styling. Just make sure your hair is nicely combed out and uh, you don't want to have any tangles because your hair needs to wrap around the wand curler very smoothly. So I'm just going to take the wand curler and I'm going to wrap it around several times until I get to the very end and I am going away from my face. So I like to keep it on there for about 10 seconds and then there's that beautiful curl. Now as you can see that serum that I use really gives my hair a nice shine and bounce. During the blow drying process my edges do get pretty straight but if you need that extra heat to straighten out your edges then it's totally fine to just straighten your hair before you do the wand curls. But like I said earlier wand curls on blow dried hair just gives it a little bit more natural look. So 
just as a disclaimer, we all know that there is no one hair type that is the same, but for me, wand curls is all about the technique. So if you follow this and you try this hairstyle out, just, you know, post a pic and I'd love to see how your curls came out. So I just continued this same process towards the back side of my head and I just grabbed maybe one inch pieces for each curl, wrap it around the iron away from my face. Hold it for about 10 seconds and there you go. The perfect wand curl. Now once I move on to the other side of my head, I do flip the wand curler upside down so that I'm still taking the curl away from my face. And I'm just wrapping it around the same way I did on the other side until I get to the very end like so and if you'd like a tighter curl then you can just twist the curling iron a little bit closer to your head and then just go ahead and simply release the curl Finally, once all of my hair is curled, I go ahead and go back in with that Chi and Vero Smoothing Serum and I'm just going to rub my fingers through my hair with it to loosen up the curls and just shake my hair out. Once I'm all finished with my hair, I can just go ahead and apply some makeup and I am ready for the day. Voila, this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, leave any comments that you have down below, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.